what's up? It's Asha Cat. I feel so blessed to come in film for y'all today. I always get so excited knowing I get to connect with y'all. So we're going to talk about downshifting with rev match today. I cannot give you all the technical terms, y'all. If you want a more in-depth overview of what downshifting with rev match is, I really implore you to go to YouTube because there are people on there that can give you very in-depth discussion of the clutch and the fire flywheel and matching gears and rpms and that's just not me y'all when i learn something i need to be told like high level what's it about and i'll explain it my best to you but you guys i always tell you do what's best for you and your car y'all i can just tell you about what i do with my car so why do we downshift with rev match well it's really not rocket science downshifting with rev match is helping your car slow down whether you're using it in racing or you're using it to turn a corner or come to a stop downshifting with rev matching is going to help you now you're probably like what is the rev match part well if you watch my feet you're gonna see that i flip or i tap the gas very quick very quickly to add the rev match we're gonna go from fourth to third clutch in foot slowly off the clutch now do you have to add the rev match you're going to hear a lot of differing opinions, whether you Google, you talk to friends and family, you talk to your mechanic, you're going to hear people say, don't do it, it ruins your car. You're going to hear people say that if you do it, it ruins your car. Either way, you're ruining your car um, or damaging some part of your car, but the damage is so minuscule, guys. You know, it's it really is a pick your poison situation. Do you not really like it? Don't do it. Some come with auto rev match already where you don't need to worry about tapping the gas why do i do it if you're a subaru owner you get it we by nature have very jerky vehicles as subaru scis wrx's and if you don't add the rev match you're gonna feel kind of like a lurch or a jerk or a jolt forward and you can tell that when you're downshifting without adding the rev match there's no synchronicity it's not seamless you want to be able to go down a gear and it feel like you're normally driving, not like there's that jolt, if that makes sense. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment without adding the rev match. When it comes to how much you add with the gas or how quickly you do everything, that's going to depend on you and your car, y'all. It took me a really long time to downshift with rev match effortlessly. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect at it. It doesn't mean that I don't screw up or have jerky downshifts. Um, you know, sometimes I downshift too soon or add the rev match. You will figure that out over time, I promise you. Um, you just have to really feel and listen to your car, and that will also come over time. We're going to go from fourth to third. We're not going to add the rev match, y'all. So here we go. Oh, you could hear it. It's like, wow. Like, you heard that? And I, I had like a little, like, jolt forward with not adding the rev match. 